On a microscopic level, the Earth's spin rate and axis are changing constantly. The drift of continents, changes in ocean currents, and the rebounding of the crust since the retreat of Ice Age glaciers all shift mass around and alter Earth's spin rate and axis. Even hurricanes and earthquakes can give the Earth a tiny nudge this way or that. We need this exact information to launch rockets. Without these corrections, GPS satellites would drift into irrelevance within weeks. Right now, we rely on very long baseline interferometry to track Earth's rotation and spin axis. But the system requires dozens of observatories to give a valuable astronomy time, and computing the results can sometimes take days. By contrast, the Romi ring laser promises to make fast and potentially continuous measurements. This is Romi being built over the course of six months. At the end, it's buried underground with only a few access points sticking up. Last month, it turned on all four of its triangular laser rings for the first time. Romi, like other ring lasers, relies on the Sanyak effect, in which two beams travel in opposite directions around the same path. Because the Earth is rotating in the direction of one of the lasers, it incurs an extra path length that the laser accommodates by stretching its wavelengths and lowering its frequency. The frequency of the counter-rotating laser rises. When interfered, the slightly clashing laser's frequencies create beats, the same pulsing beats that piano tuners try to eliminate as they strike a note and a tuning fork at the same time. The beat frequency is a direct measure of the rotation that causes it. With its 12-meter arms, Romi is more sensitive than smaller ring lasers, and instead of one square ring, it has four triangular ones. Three are required to pin down rotations in any direction, while the fourth adds redundancy. Being so new, however, Romi is plagued by experimental drift. The machine is settling in soft sediments, and its steel tubes will flex with the temperature swings of day and night. Scientists will try to isolate and eliminate these sources of noise. But there is one type of noise that scientists want Romi to capture, tilt motions from earthquakes. Traditionally, seismologists could only measure translation, or displacements along any of the three cardinal axes. But earthquakes also contain tilt motions, which rotate the ground without shifting it. Engineers have been designing buildings for only one type of shaking, when really they should be designed for the two different inputs. Although Romi can record these motions from distant earthquakes, it can't move. That's why scientists want to build smaller, portable rotation sensors based on fiber optics that can be sent out to measure tilt motions around the world.